we are going to be going on a journey, a six-part series covering Smartsheet. And today is the first part, and we're going to be covering the sheet. And my name is Justin Razio. I am your guide, and welcome to Workflow My Workload. I am product certified and solution certified. And with that solution certification, only 250 people in the entire world have that certification. So just to kind of give you an average, if you did the, the average around the globe, that means only 10 people in the United States have that. And you're looking at one of them. And I don't say that to toot my own horn, but I do say that to let you know that I do know what I'm talking about. And I want to show you all that you can do within Smartsheet, how you can optimize it to the best of your ability, but also do it in a way where I'm taking you by the hand step by step. All right, part one, we're going to look at the sheet. Let's dive in. All right, today we're going to be learning how to navigate within the sheet of Smartsheet, how to work with your rows and your columns, and then all the things you can do on the ribbons along this side, all the action items you can do within that sheet. And if you like this, this little part series and you keep watching the next video and the next video, I've actually created a 45-minute lesson covering a little bit in more detail the overarching theme of Smartsheet, and that lesson is absolutely free and it's found in the bio below. So please don't forget to click on that free lesson. All right, let's dive into the sheet. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is log into Smartsheet. Click over here and log in. Put in your email and your password, and we're gonna sign in. <coughs> All right, so this is what is called the home screen. And you have your ribbon right here. This will never change no matter what you're looking at within the core of Smartsheet. All of these buttons will be right here on the left. And the top one right here, this is your home screen. This is your notifications. This is where you browse, where you look at all your folders and all of your sheets. These are your recent, so it's gonna come up the most recent that you've been working on. And any favorites that you may have tagged as your favorite. Work apps, which is a different application that we'll go over in a different video. And then your solution center. This is simply where you create all the different things within Smartsheet. And within Smartsheet, you can create sheets, you can create reports, you can create dashboards. And all of these things up here at the top, these are technically all still sheets, but sheets within different views. And I will be covering those things with you. All right, so today we're simply going to be looking at the sheet and again if you want to create a brand new sheet and have something new to work in you can click on the home plate the home button right here you can click here or here create new and you can click on the sheet or you can also click on the plus symbol here called solution center click on the grid right here as well all right once you open it up the first thing it's going to ask you is a sheet name what do you want to name your sheet and for this one, let's go ahead and let's pretend like we have a, a project and we're working on making some spaghetti. So we'll, we will call this spaghetti project. Click OK. And then it brings you to the sheet. And it always starts out this way with a blank canvas. You have your primary column, and then it gives you six more columns. Now within Smartsheet, you can have up to 400 columns and up to 20,000 rows. So these right here are called columns, and these right here are called rows. And if any of you have ever worked in any other project management um, platform or like Excel, you'll be very familiar with rows and columns. But there are some things about Smartsheet that to me are a league above the rest, that the columns and rows have action items that I'll cover today that a lot of other platforms do not have. Okay, so we have our grid, and it's you can look at it in multiple different views. And just like most other platforms, you have your, your font settings right here, 
colors, your paints, and so on and so forth. And so, for instance, let's put in some data so we can start manipulating it so you can see what it does. All right, when you have a column, it's by default, they're going to start out as text and numbers. And what I mean by that is if you double click in one, the column type is a text and number. But this column can be multiple different types. It can be drop down list, date, contact list, checkbox, symbols. Auto numbers is where it just automatically populates a number when a row is created or added. And created by, created date, latest comment, modified by, and modify date. And I'm not going to go through each one of these today, but I do go through these in more detail in my upcoming lesson that you see in the bio below. All right, let's go ahead and just do the basic text number here. And let's go ahead and double click change the column name we'll call this signed to and actually I'm going to change this to a contact list so let's do contact list and we'll start typing in a name let's do Billy Bob Susan okay so we change this to assign to primary column. Let's just change this to task. Now with the primary column, and you will always have a primary column within your sheet. Now you can hide it if you don't, for whatever reason, don't want to have it. You can hide it, um, but it will always exist in the sheet. And the one thing to keep in mind is the primary column. Um, it will always be a text number. All right, let's change this column to a date column. So we'll call it start date and we'll choose date right here you can put in a date here and we'll maybe we'll call this okay now say we want to add a row to the top you're going to go over here to the left, where it's dark blue here. You're going to right click, and you're going to do insert above. Let's call this the sauce. If you want a whole row to have a certain color, you just normal click, left click into the row here, change it to a color. Maybe you want an orange, maybe you want a bold, and we'll make it 12. And we'll say. And what's cool too is with uh, any data here, if you to the bottom right, if you click and drag, you can drag it down as far as you want. All right, so we got task name, we got assigned to, we got start date. Let's go ahead and put an end date. And let's do a comment section. text got cut off there so if you don't want that you just click into the whole column or you can click in the row but if you click on the whole column it does it for everything down below click this guy right here and we'll wrap it let's go ahead and click save and with these here if you have like a certain color like maybe something like this and you click on the paintbrush it's going to do that so you do have that ability you can add rows and columns this way I prefer not to I just did what I did earlier where you right click into a row, insert above, insert below, and then you can also add more columns. You just right click into one of the columns and call this A, B, C. And what's cool about this, something that Excel cannot do, is you can, in Smartsheet, you can just drag and drop your columns and put them wherever you want. And do that with any column. You take it, you can hide it whatever you want to do.
All right, so the action items. So what makes Smartsheet stand out from the rest, at least in my opinion? We have these, some of the, one of many things is you have the action items right here on the left. What that means is the first one is a paper clip. It's an attachment. So you click here and this panel opens up over here and you can just drag and drop documents right into here. You can click down here as well, upload it from the computer. Maybe I want to do, let's see, some photos. And there's the photo right there. And now you can see that the paper clip is blue right here, which means that the document, so I'll click on a row, it doesn't show up, but I click over here in this row document shows up right there because this document is associated with this row and you can also have it where it's with the entire sheet or you can look at all your photos all at once and so this is really handy when you're working on projects you can have multiple PDFs Excel sheets videos um, PDFs I mean you name it you can pretty much anything that's attached you can even have URL links you can have them all right here so when working on a project your team can see all the attachments associated with that row. So for instance, if I'm making the marinara, maybe I want to drop the recipe. This is where I would put it right here. And then this section right here is the comment section. This is where you're doing uh, DMs, direct messaging. So if I click on this comment section right here and I say, at Susan, please make sure the sauce is nice and hot I click enter then with the at symbol right here Susan is going to receive an email instantly both an email and a smart sheet notification and then we can have a ongoing conversation specifically in this row or just like the documents we can have it overall within smart sheet so again this really helps with project management the next thing here is for proofs and this is where you have a picture that maybe you're working on. Maybe it's for this one has a recipe. Maybe I want to mark up the recipe. Maybe I want to add garlic and take away onion or, or whatnot. And I'm using the most basic version for this demo. And so for you guys, if you just have the, the free version or the most basic version, you will need to upgrade just to give you the heads up. Um, but the proofs are really nice. You can, you can mark up the proofs. And again, just like at the row level, your team members will see that and you can see who's marked up what and when. All right, the last one here is it's just setting a reminder and you can do a whole lot more with automations and notifications, but for just, just for today, we're covering the sheet level and I'm just gonna show you how to do a reminder. So maybe I want the reminder to be on Thursday the 17th. I can choose who to send it to. Maybe I want it to the person that's in the assigned to column. And I want it on that date. And then I can send a message. And there we go. All right, those are the row actions for you. And these are the columns. Um, another thing you can do here is you can indent. So if I want to take these in, click indent. Then it takes these two rows and it hides them under sauce. So maybe I have another one for uh, making the spaghetti noodles, making the salad, and then you can indent as many as you'd like. All right. And along with the formulas here, you can also uh, do the currency, all the different currencies for the, for the font, percentages. You can choose the date format that you want it to be, so if you don't like that, Maybe you want to change it to, to this instead. And you have the ribbon here on the right. And what this does is, again, you can look at your attachments over here. So you can look at them overall. You can look at your proofs, what we just looked at earlier, which was this right here. Overall attachments, overall proofs. Uh, Brand Folder, that's a company that Smartsheet acquired that um, you have to pay extra for. But if you do a lot of... Um, 
marketing or you work with graphics um, as an as an asset. It's just something where they partnered with Brand Folder, and you can connect Smartsheet right into Brand Folder. Folder, excuse me for that. Um, you can do update requests, and so if I want to set up an update request, maybe I want to uh, set up an update request for Susan that I want her to make sure that everything's nice and tidy and I send everything in and then Susan will receive a notification hey please make sure everything is set up and ready to go so if I went like this I clicked here so you gotta click the world first click here click a new request I'm gonna send it to Susan and I'll say Maybe double check the recipe, huh? I can even CC myself. I can choose what she sees and doesn't see, and I can even schedule it out. And then she'll receive that update request. And then once she makes that change, it will appear right here. There's a symbol. And you can publish your sheet. Again, you have to upgrade for that. Again, I'm using the basic version. But when you publish your sheet, this actually um, becomes public to the entire world. So say you're building this out for a company or a client. Um, that's how you can send it to them so anyone in the world can see it. And you can set up parameters where they can't make changes in edits. They can only look at it. And the last or second to last one here is activity log and this is really nice so with the activity log you can see everyone that's made changes to the sheet when they made those changes down to the minute and you can even see people that have even looked just looked at your sheet just logged in and looked at your sheet and so this is really good for financials and reporting even for tax purposes companies love smart sheet for this reason right here because it really does a very nice clean cut job of a snapshot of everything at all times going on within all of your sheets and the last one here is the summary sheet and this is where you can have fields in here that will summarize everything that's going on in the sheet and that is something i can cover in a different uh, lesson but today I just want to show you the, the basics of Smartsheet at the sheet level and all the things you can do. And um, keep your eyes open for the next video for part two. And I'm going to be going over forms and how this guy right here, you can create a form within this sheet that looks awesome, looks beautiful. You can send it to your customers, you know, your clients, and they can put in information for you exactly how you want them to see it. But then it appears here back into the sheet how we want to see it. All right, guys, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next episode.